everyone, Sherlock Prenum one here and welcome back. Today, against my better decision making, I am actually going to be checking out How I Met Your Father and I am not very excited about this necessarily because I loved How I Met Your Mother when I got into that and honestly, I don't know how they're going to top the How I Met Your Mother. So I'm going into this fully blind. I don't know what it's about. I just know the title is the same as the other one. Um, I don't think any characters from the previous one show up. I don't think it's the same storyline, but maybe it is. And it's literally just like from a woman's perspective of telling how she met their dad. But I don't really know how this ties into the first one. So I guess we'll find out. So sit back, grab a snack and enjoy. This is season one, episode one of How I Met Your Father. Enjoy. 2050, oh my God. House, call my son. My God. It's 2050. How does this still not work? <laughs> Call my son. Turn down the son? damn lights. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, you look tired. Okay, thanks for calling. Are you busy? Not really. Just finished studying. I really don't like it. Good. Because I want to tell you the story of how I met your father. 2022. This one starts with a Tinder date. Okay, so that's that's just how we're gonna start it. We're just gonna like completely half-ass the beginning. We're gonna be like, okay, so here's the baseline of what we're doing. And like, oh, so I'm gonna call my son randomly. And like, first off, the laugh track is very distracting. But they're basically just gonna like, not even, I mean, the first one didn't really tell you why he sat them down that day, but like, why is she sitting him down now? Why is she telling him this story? Why is this important? Who are these characters? Why do we care? Like, this is already off to a really poor start. It's gonna be nothing but Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. Show me right me you know, with this charging cord, would you? Ooh, actually, can I use it? Because my phone's belly is hungry. She's all, feed me, mama. I hate these characters. I hate this so much already. Okay, tell me everything. Who is she? Why is okay. she so... So her name's Hannah. She's a surgical resident in LA. She's been doing... found true love every time some douchey eye banker swipes right and texts, sup. <laughs> My last Tinder date was the worst one yet. The guy showed up 20 minutes late. Sophie? Sorry I'm late. Uh, that's okay. <clears throat> Subway delay. Uh, no, actually, I was, uh... I was on another day before this, and uh, let's just say it went well. Like, uh, like really well. Wow. Like I just had sex. Yeah, yeah, I told you that. Why would he tell you that? That celebrity crush. Tia Maori. You? Buzz Lightyear. An astronaut made of plastic. Freaky. <laughs> and then we started to actually get to know each other. Well, what kind of photography do you do? Right now, I shoot stuff like birthday parties and engagement photos to pay the rent, but my heart is in street photography. That's when you sneak what in the world is she? She must have a roommate, because there's no way you're making a full payment on a New York apartment doing side gig photography. I mean, unless you're charging quite a bit. I, I don't know personally, but like, I don't think that unless you're a really well-known photographer, that you're probably going to be making enough and living on your loan and living alone in New York. Pick up on a stranger, take their picture, and then run away before they punch you, right? That's exactly right. The chances of this guy being your soulmate are lower than low. I mean, there's a better chance of you giving me a five-star review after this rude assessment I'm making. <laughs> Speaking of which, don't forget your phone. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, how are you proposing? that new movie next week where Joaquin Phoenix plays Amelia Earhart. And then it happened. What? Okay, so, Sophie, the thing is, I'm moving to Australia. Okay. You just got back from there. I know. It was only supposed to be a research trip, but right before I left, they offered me a full-time job on a team that's helping endangered coral reef procreate. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. Can't you just... Some soft rock. I mean, that always works for me. Okay. <laughs> when are you leaving? Tonight. Tonight. I only came back to New York to pack and sublet my place. Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. Someday. This, 
I, I feel no emotion for this. Like, their acting is all right, but like, there's no reason. They've literally known each other, what, like 20, 24 hours? They've texted like for two weeks. He's moving to Australia. Soph, I am so sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you bang one out anyway? <laughs> oh, at least I still have you. You know what? We can just be two single New York ladies doing it for ourselves. We can start a podcast called Who Needs Men? <laughs> what <laughs> is up? Oh my god. Who is that? Why is he naked in there? Made some very outdated ugly Betty jabs. And then they cut off his trust fund. They've had the narco two guys. I, I, I don't know. Who what? needs unlimited wealth and palaces? I will get by on my charm and my street smarts. I can see your face. Oh, huh. Stay in now, lad. Mm -hmm. There my undies are. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot we started out here with all the fruit play. Ew! <laughs> I want to toss this. These were not organic. I get to Pemberton's right now. Can we come with? Can't wait to see the real New York. <gasps> can we take a subway? I've always wanted to see what the subway's like. How long has this man been so in New York? What's the subway's like? Always smell like that? No, sometimes it's way worse. I really need you to hide. Good, right? because I'm not sure what time Ian's flight is, but I've got to talk to him before the plane takes off. For the love of God, hide! Uh, I freeze under pressure. <gasps> this is why I've been hit by three city bikes. I just, I can't with this character. Tell Kate McKinnon. Whoa, Ooh, do you know Kate McKinnon? McKinnon? No. Oh. Do you? Hey, 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 look, look, Sid is my best friend, okay? And if you're in charge of my proposal, purely hypothetical, I'm never getting married, but he would make sure it was perfect, all right? So I can't have your peeking head ruining his big night. I'm sorry. I, 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 That's, like, what? Now, she's in Europe recording her first solo album, and I'm known all around the city as Mr. Proposal Fail. I don't even know that that was that funny of a fail, honestly, or that that was even really that intriguing. Like, she basically, like, let you down and said, no, thank you. Like, it, it, she sounded like she was going to explain herself, and then you basically fell down, and then the video ended. You know, like the video last week on Twitter? Michelle Obama. How did you forget the Beyonce tickets at the bar? I won't haunt and traumatize him forever. Good for him. I love you so much. I love you more. And I... Love hilarious phone mishaps. <laughs> I swapped in an Uber. Oh, Mazel Tov, by the way. <laughs> uh, here, it's dead, which feels very on brand for you. College sweethearts married for 30 years, sort of thing. So you're like, if they found each other, there must be someone out there for everyone. Blah 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 blah. Right? This is gonna be awful. Yeah. Something like that. <sighs> must be nice. Those of us who grew up in the real world, not so sure. I gotta talk. Uh -huh. I also want to be clear that I am not judging anyone who does hook up on every date. It's just not my style. But if it's someone else's, that's her business, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Right. It's getting away from her. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is that we live in confusing times where it's really hard to meet someone and, and connect and have it feel easy. And tonight it felt easy. Other than the Australia thing, which feels insurmountably hard, but we can get through it. But I didn't want to wait around for someday. Right. I'm doing it. I'm walking the bridge without the love of my life. It sounded more triumphant in my head. Uh, you walk that bridge, girl. He can have a good attitude about his fiance ditching him. And you two can try to make your completely doomed relationship work. Hey! I, I can stop obsessing over my divorce and ask a woman out to divorce! To divorce! To dinner! Damn it! I don't we'll get that so hard for you. This is good for self. She needed this. What? She's gonna be fine. She's got her parents' magic love story to keep her stupidly optimistic. Magic love story? Yeah. Sophie's mom is a party girl who bounces around from boyfriend to boyfriend. Her dad wasn't even in the picture. Please. Thanks. It was a total. No freaking way. 
incredible score. We got it from this old married couple who posted it on the Wesleyan alumni group. You even got them to leave their seats. Wow. This is freaking Marshall and Lily's apartment. So this is, they're gonna do little ties like this. So there really has nothing to do with the previous people, like at all. It's just little nods, like their apartment. That, okay, well, I don't know how I feel about them living in the new apartment. But. So that's it. That's an item at your farm. Is that it? But you guys didn't even get together. Get together? What? That's a much longer story. How long was I? Why don't I put that bottle of wine? That was the first episode of How I Met Your Father. And, okay, look. So, people who are fans of How I Met Your Mother, I don't know if I'm just, like, a really... being really harsh on this series, but I did not necessarily enjoy that. It just... I feel like it is the most modernized version of a modernized already show. And it's, it just doesn't have very much heart at all. Like, I don't, I don't really feel anything for these characters. I don't really care about these characters. And I know it's only the pilot episode, they, like not intrigued by this story. Like, first of all, this mom who is telling the story literally sounds like she does not care about this story she's revealing. Also, kind of came out of freaking nowhere to just be like, hey son, you know, call my son. I'm gonna tell him this random story out of nowhere. And I know that that kind of happened in How I Met Your Mother where he sat them down and he was like, kids, let me tell you a story. But at least with that, it felt like maybe there was a reason for it. Like, because at the end they address like the whole why he sat them down to tell them. And maybe they'll do that with this, but like this mom already sounds like she basically was like, gonna do this anyway so like it doesn't really have any effect i don't know i don't know if i'm making any sense but i don't really i don't know this series does not look good to me i think hillary duff is doing an okay job i don't really like her character i don't know if it's the scripting i don't know if it's the writing i don't know what it is but some of these characters are funny and some of them are enjoyable but none of them have really tugged at my heartstrings. They all seem like the same character. The only way that I know that the guy is married is because he just proposed in this episode. So like, that's the only reason that I can tell anybody's storyline other than the failed proposal guy, which again bugs me because that was not that traumatic. Maybe it was internally more than externally, but like his story is not that tragic. So. I don't know, am I being heartless with the show? Am I being too harsh? Am I putting How I Met Your Mother on a pedestal that it doesn't deserve? I don't know, I guess you can be the judge, but I'm not probably going to continue watching this series, honestly. I have no interest in it. If you guys really, really would like me to continue it, leave a like on the video and comment down below, does it get better? Does it get more interesting for those of you who have watched it? Um, but other than that, I don't have much else to say. Uh, that's basically my review and my opinion. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're having an awesome day, having an awesome week. And until next time, bye guys. Let's go.